We're delighted here to be joined by the winners of the 2016 Technical Achievement Award, uh, Michel Nouguet from uh, M6 and his colleague uh, Matthias Benjamin. Uh, can I ask first of all for your feelings on this uh, honour today? Oh, we are really proud, really, really, really proud because uh, we are not doing a lot of sports in M6 and uh, we were very focused on uh, what will be happened during the Euro. And, um, we, we try to find uh, new ideas to, to go over what beyond uh, what we are doing uh, usually. And um, this price, is, uh, this honor is very, very important for us. Uh, it's, a, um, it's, it's the idea that we can go further uh, in our business and uh, to have new ideas and to find new, new solutions to, to improve uh, the, the, the job we do. And also to, to astonish our audience in our business. So, I mean, uh, we are very proud, really. Um, Matthias, um, can you maybe talk us very briefly through some of the primary challenges that you encountered during the production, the pre-production process on this tour? A lot of challenges because um, the, the initial idea was simple, but the uh, putting this into real images were, turned out to be very difficult. The challenges were about uh, sound transmissions, um, about scale adjustments, uh, about lighting that needed to be exactly the same on the remote site and on the, uh, on the set. Um, so it took a lot of work uh, and rehearsals to be able to, uh, to get into a process where we were confident enough to be able to do it uh, very quickly. The, the challenge also is uh, with a, a UEFA production. You have only a few hours to get on air. Uh, so uh, you have to uh, set up very quickly with uh, a stadium that you don't know, where you have very limited access, and uh, all this uh, remote, of course. So many challenges. And, and how long was the actual build-up process? I mean, how, how many months are we talking here? Um, I would say uh, four or five months before we had the, uh, we started uh, with the drawing board, uh, ideas and challenging ideas. Um, and the actual uh, design and rehearsals that was uh, about one month, one or two months before. 2016, it seems, is, is going to become a very, going to be regarded as a very significant year for augmented reality. Yeah. Um, do you think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg now? Uh, in so, terms of, are we seeing the tip of the iceberg now in terms of where we're going to go in the future? Uh, where do you think we will be with AR, say, 12 months from now? I, I, I think, I think we are now walking between. Um, the reality and the virtuality, yeah. definitely. And um, I think for the, for the audience, it's, it's quite a non-difference between things, mm -hmm. definitely. People see if it's real or not, they, they don't ask. And um, we are doing exactly the same on news show, for example. And it, it becomes a part of the news show, very easy for people. They perfectly understand that this is a reality, a augmented reality. And we had no trouble in terms of understanding for the people, in terms of images. And they perfectly understand that the, the augmented reality is included now in the images. And I often say that we are working like a, a kind of magician now. It's just an illusion, if you see what I mean. It's just we are working like magicians just to, to, to change the perception of the images and to be focused on... The, the place of the information on the images. And for, for the sports, it's very important, but for the news, it's very important now. And I think, as you say, it's the start of um, new challenges. We can go further, definitely. We can imagine things higher and beyond all the points we, have, uh, we, we are now. And we can go uh, over the limits now. And indeed, I mean, you mentioned that, that uh, sports was a fairly new area for yeah. M6. You've not done a lot. Presumably, this project will open a lot of doors for you, I guess. I think it opened a lot of doors in every field we get in terms of production, entertainment, news, or um, um, magazine, and this kind of thing. So I think, I think, I think we can do a lot of things now in, in terms of uh, augmented reality. The sports is the best opportunity to have all the means to develop things like uh, transmissions, uh, technical achievements and this kind of thing that now we can develop things in other fields. Well congratulations again on your thank award you, and thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.